So here's a way to attach a video to a shader. Here we see an example in VR. And the case here is I, I wasn't really meant to have it on several places, but you see shader was already applied on several places. So the first thing is to find the surface where you would like to have this video on. So we are renaming to clarify that this is the object that we will work with. The shader, it's, it's very important that it has a special name. So you can choose whatever name you like, but here we use iPhone as the name for the shader and we will connect that later on to the video. And there is a few minor scripts here that we need to put in and we will make two variants, one for pause and one for play. And inside those in the script we will activate pause or play for the movie player inside VR or VRED. So we paste in that short script there. And now we also need to position the, the video itself. And in this case, it's an MP4. And if you install the Core Light codec basic pack, then you have the possibility to use mp4s and other common formats today. Otherwise you're forced to use Windows Media Player format MVV. So to get this player to work we also need to position this and again the position, the path there is important the naming is important. So here I actually have spelled it with big letters iPhone. So I changed it to small i in the beginning. And then we could copy and paste this into the script editor. And that will connect the video to the movie player inside VRED. So we run that script and then we choose to play it cleans up the shade there and it starts to play. So now we have it playing there in the background. So let's position this now. In the same methods as always. We could of course use a planner direction and, and use to manipulate that. But here I'm just going for UV. Adjust the size a little bit so, so it fits into the surface appropriate. And to turn this on and off, we have the variants that activate the script, pause or play. And it seems to work nice. So now it's time to be able to activate this graphically. So we go for a touch sensor and move in the surface that we earlier found. So now we have a touch sensor for on the button and then we will have a touch sensor that is the complete display for pause. So we could turn on and off or pause and play the video and it works. Great. So let's try it in VR and it's a little bit tinier that button there but we maybe could have used a bigger surface to activate but it works. And again we could see that the shader were in several places and I, I didn't realize that actually until I got into VR but it's kind of cool. 
And of course, it's super easy. You could just reapply other shaders on the surfaces, which should not have a video on it. Yeah. You actually see the video in the ceiling. Yeah, that's it.